This is the Sony A6000. When it was released, I think it was the best in class. I've had it for over four years now, and unfortunately, it's developed this one problem. And apparently a lot of people are having this problem, judging by the comments that I saw on the internet. I have finally found a solution to the problem, and I'm gonna show you in this video. So before we get into this video, can I just ask you a favor? If at the end of this video, you feel it's helped you and has resolved your problem, please consider subscribing to the channel. I would really like to get the channel to a thousand subscribers. That is a requirement for live streaming and I really love to do live streaming on this channel of help videos such as this one. All right, let's get to the video. I'm not really sure why this happens. Uh, to me, it happens when I affix a new lens. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't but it usually occurs when I do something like go between video mode to picture mode or I try to change the mode settings here. All of a sudden, uh, the buttons become unresponsive. So now if I turn it on, you can see that it does turn on, right? It's got the information displayed there. I've got a manual lens there at the moment, which is why it says F dash dash. But um, this doesn't work. The menu button, that doesn't work. I mean, I can take a photo, but I can't for instance, change the aperture. I can't change the shutter speed. Just, not, I can't, you know, the menu doesn't work. The, I can't access the photos I've taken. So I can't actually change the settings to do anything. Here is the simple solution to this problem. And I'm gonna do it here on the video as you're watching. So follow these steps exactly. Turn your camera off. Take the battery out. and turn the camera back on. All that with the battery out, yeah? Now press every single button on the camera, every single button. So what I do is I start from the front. So shutter release, C1, I will move the dial, I move this dial, I press this button, the menu button, the flash, function, OK button, this dial here, play button, C2, video button. So that's everything covered. Now, turn the camera back off, insert the battery, Turn it on. Okay, so now we're back on. You just wait a few seconds. The display is back on. Now you press, I mean, you can press any of the buttons now, but they should be responsive. If you press menu, boom, look, it works. Now I could go back and change settings. That's it. Unfortunately, it's not a permanent fix. After using the camera for a few days, the problem does come back, but at least it gets you out of a sticky situation if that's the only camera you've got on you at the moment. You'll be able to get back to taking pictures. Um, but at the end of the day, if your camera is still in warranty, I would send it back to Sony to have it replaced or looked at. Uh, otherwise, if you're a professional, you might wanna look into getting a new camera. But I hope that's been helpful. Again, if it's been helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel so I can get over a thousand subs um, so I can do live streaming, okay? Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself.